Sophia. I have learnt about some blocks in Scratch. Can we draw shapes in Scratch? Yes, Romy. We can draw shapes in Scratch too. How? Please tell me about it. Sure, Romy. Let us learn about drawing shapes and more on other blocks in this chapter. Blocks in Scratch are divided into different categories based on their functions. Each category includes a number of blocks to do different jobs. We have learnt motion blocks, looks blocks, sound blocks, event blocks and other blocks in the previous class. Let us learn about some more blocks. Pen blocks. The pen blocks are used to create interactive games where the user can draw on the backdrop. They are green in color. These blocks include blocks for clearing the backdrop, for moving the pen down and up, for setting and changing the pen color, shade and size. We can also use some blocks in other ways. For example, using the clear block to clear the screen when moving up a level in a game. These blocks are also used to draw a trail as the sprite moves on the backdrop. Each pen color has different shades that vary from the lightest to the darkest. The pen shade varies from 0 to 100, that is, 0 is the darkest and 100 is the lightest shade. Pen blocks include blocks for clearing the backdrop, blocks for moving the pen down and up so that it will or will not draw on the backdrop, blocks for setting and changing the pen color, shade and size. In Scratch 3, we need to add the pen blocks to the block category. The steps to add the pen blocks are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Add Extension button present at the bottom left corner of the Code tab. Step 2. A Choose an Extension window will appear with different options to be added. Click on the Pen option. The pen blocks will get added to the Code tab. Changing the Pen Shade the steps to change the pen shade are as follows. Step 1. Delete the cat sprite from the backdrop and add the beetle sprite on the backdrop. Step 2. Select the pen blocks. Click and drag the Change Pen by 10 block on the scripts area. Step 3. Drag the Set Pen Size to 5 and Pen Down blocks and place them under the block. Change the value to 5 in block. Step 4. Now select the motion block palette and drag the move 10 steps block on the scripts area. Keep clicking on any block and observe the sprite drawing line with a change in pen shade. Drawing a circle. The steps to draw a colorful circle are as follows. Step 1. Click on the pen block. Step 2. Select the pen down block from the pen block palette. Step 3. Drag out the block and place it underneath the turn 15 degrees block. Step 4. Now click and pull. Change pen size by 1, the block, onto the scripts area. Place it below the block. Step 5. Drag out the change pen by 10 block from the pen block palette and drop it at the end. Step 6. Keep clicking on any of the blocks in the scripts area till the sprite completes its colorful circle. Sensing blocks. The sensing blocks are cyan in color. They are used to control multiple functions like user input, output, storing value and sensing objects. They are used for both sprites and backdrops. The sensing blocks include Blocks to detect whether items, including sprites and colors, are touching each other or are at a given distance from each other. You can only use these with sprites, not with the backdrop. Blocks to ask the user a question. Blocks to detect key presses and mouse clicks. Blocks for timing the execution of a project. Operators Blocks the operator's blocks are green in color. They are used to control multiple functions like arithmetic conditions, maths equations and string handling.
they are only used for sprites and not for backdrops the operators block include blocks for adding subtracting multiplying and dividing one value with another a block to pick a random number between two numbers we define blocks for identifying if two values are less than greater than or equal to each other boolean blocks not and or use these to combine values in control blocks like if and repeat blocks blocks for joining other blocks together or working with just one part of a block's value blocks for rounding values and identifying whether the result of a calculation has a remainder or not variables blocks variable blocks are orange in color they are used for initialization and for incrementing the values of variables visible on the screen for example the scoreboard in a game they are only used for sprites and not for backdrops once we create a variable we will see a number of variables blocks that include blocks for setting the value of the variable and changing it blocks for showing and hiding the variable iteration in scratch the control blocks contain loop blocks for iterative development in scratch iteration means executing the same lines of script more than once over and over again scripting code is executed repeatedly for a fixed number of times or may go on the repeat and forever blocks are used for this purpose the loop blocks repeat a set of blocks or scripting code either for a given number of times forever or until something happens or a condition is met let us learn about loop blocks used for iteration repeat block the repeat block helps in controlling the execution of the program we can repeat the actions of the sprite as many times as needed by default the repeat block executes the same instructions 10 times the instructions held inside the block are repeated for the specified number of times as mentioned in the block the steps to repeat the blocks of commands are as follows step 1 pick the repeat block and place it onto the scripts area change the value from 10 to 15 Step 2 drag the block from the motion blocks palette and place them on the scripts area Step 3 change the value of turn block to 30 and the move block to 20 Step 4 now place them inside the repeat block Step 5 select the pen blocks drag out the stamp block and drop it below the move block Step 6 click on any block to run a stack and observe the repeated actions drawing circle using the repeat block the steps to draw a circle using the repeat block are as follows step 1 open a new file in scratch step 2 add the scripting code as shown step 3 play the animation by clicking on the green flag button and observe that a circle is drawn on the backdrop drawing square using the repeat block these steps to draw a square using the repeat block are as follows step 1 open a new file in scratch step 2 add the scripting code as shown step 3 play the animation by clicking on the green flag button and observe that a square is drawn on the backdrop forever block the forever block runs the blocks that are put inside it again and again the steps to use the forever block are as follows step 1 click on the control blocks in the blocks palette step 2 drag the forever block to the scripts area step 3 add the script using the control motion and looks blocks step 4 click on the green flag button to run the animation and observe the change The cat sprite will continue moving in the circular direction. Click on the conditionals in Scratch. Like any other programming language, Scratch also supports conditionals or decision-making constructs. In our daily life, we also need to take some decisions depending upon situations. In the same manner, creating games in Scratch may also require decision-making depending upon some conditions. 
For example, consider the scenario that we are creating a game that involves moving a sprite. We may instruct the sprite to go back or to move into any other direction if it touches the edge. This case requires checking the condition if sprite touches edge and then taking an action, moving sprite into any other direction. This kind of decision-based programming is done using different conditional blocks available in the control blocks of Scratch. Let us learn about such blocks in detail. If then block. The if then block checks a condition and if the condition evaluates to true, it executes the scripting code given inside the if then block. The steps using if then block are as follows. Step 1. Open a new file in Scratch. Step 2. Add one more sprite, Cheesy Puffs, along with Cat Sprite on the backdrop. Step 3. Click on the Cat Sprite and add the script code as shown. Step 4. Play the animation by clicking on the green flag button and observe that when Cat Sprite touches Cheesy Puff Sprite, message Yummy is displayed. If Then Else Block. The if then else block executes the script code given inside the if then block if the condition evaluates to true. In case the condition evaluates to false, it will execute the alternate scripting code blocks given inside the else block. The steps to use if then else block are as follows. Step 1. Open a new file in Scratch. Step 2. Add one more sprite, Cheesy Puffs, along with Cat Sprite on the backdrop. Step 3. Click on the Cat Sprite and add the script code as shown. Step 4. Play the animation by clicking on the green flag button and observe that when Cat Sprite is not touching Cheesy Puff Sprite, Think Bubble hmm, is displayed. Dictionary Scratch it is a free programming software that enables children to create their own games, animated stories and interactive art. Sprite Sprite is a small graphic character that performs actions in a Scratch project. Script It is the collection of stepwise instructions given to a Sprite. Scripts Area It is the place where we pick and drop the blocks to create a script. Variable an element, value or feature that is liable to vary or change. Let's refresh. The pen blocks are used to create interactive games where the user can draw on the backdrop. The control blocks let us control the blocks within the scripts, inserting conditional statements, loops, repeats and pauses. The sensing block identifies what is happening at a given point and makes the sprites or background respond. The operator's blocks let us make comparisons between or perform arithmetic functions on different values and can be used in conjunction with data blocks or sensing blocks among others. The variable blocks are used for timing games or keeping scores or for defining how many times a loop needs to run. Iteration means executing the same lines of script more than once over and over again. The repeat block helps in controlling the execution of the program. The forever block runs the blocks that are put inside it again and again. Scratch also supports conditionals or decision-making construct.